five five. Between Cami Viper or Aidan no, Viper? Aidan. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then Cami would, would be a very clear choice. But really, since both of these players have so many characters to pick from, I wonder if we're going to see some nice disrespect in a really random character from LPN, like Boxer or something. So Martin's really going. Oh. He's just deciding to go with uh, Dudley here. I mean, Martin kind of known for his Dudley. I, I would believe that both Cami and Aidan would do so well against Dudley because they, they both have just such amazing cross ups that, and right. that, that's really how you get at Dudley. Right, because his only invincibility is. is uh, EX uppercut. EX uppercut. Really. And, and, yeah. and his. Uh, his his uh, cross counters, or after this, after. And uh, so, uh, cross counter actually has startup, and you can totally counter hit cross counter. It's, it's not a really that great of an anti cross up unless it's uh, before a knockdown. I see. So, I mean, right now, LPN takes the early lead and whip punishes, He's getting right the, in there. whip punishes the jab machine gun with the wall dive. Pretty sweet. Yeah, and I think that what we're just going to see right here is just a ton of stand roundhouse. It looks like some stand fierce right there just to keep Marn out the whole time. Marn but just kind of going risky in there. And with some great reads, exactly. Oh, but he gets blown for his troubles. And there it is. LPN takes round one. That, I mean, Marn had these opportunities to take the round, but LPN just you know, very decisively uh, kept the danger under control. And now he's kind of just using his uh, Jaguar kick there to really put a wrench in uh, Marn's defense. Yeah, and uh, getting an early stun here. Marn trying to use those stand fierce has got really punished with the focus. And that and that's was, a, was a very decisive game. One. Whenever a round ends before the 80 second mark, you know is extremely decisive <laughs> because uh, I don't know. I, I uh, being at SF State, I fight against the arcade a lot when no one's there, and uh, it's against most characters. It's four fierce SPDs to kill a character, and it, when you include the animation, you can't do it any faster than 80 seconds. Huh. So if you finish around before 80 seconds means you killed them faster than if Geef landed Fierce Four. SPD on every single mix-up. Wow. So you know, that means that there was counter hits involved. But like, you know that you really bodied someone at that point. Martin deciding to change the Viper here. I played LPN a little bit earlier and I got dominated. Uh, so let's see if I can learn something from this Yeah, match. I mean, LPN. Martin is going for, you know, the, the pretty standard Viper mix-up, jump around house into burn kick, sure. which is pretty easy to uppercut for Adon. Uh, if he makes the right read. Uh, and here we go. Nice. Marn using the EX Seismo Fane to kind of bait out that the uh, cross up and, and gets the backdash punish there with the Thunder Knuckle. For that straight read right there. Both players kind of respecting each other right now. I mean, oh, uh, Marn gets the EX Seismo. After the Thunder Knuckle, very common tactic for Viper. Very easy to blow up. I uh, I can imagine that, you know, obviously Long's not the kind of person that loses composure, but I think in the back of his head, he's like, all right, this is cute, but wait till you see my cami. Because uh, right now, this is looking much more dominant out of Marn. But the lives are even right now. Right. So Adon could definitely take this back, and especially with so much meter. Marn just staying solid here. Oh, what a great speed. Very hard to do this defensive middle game with Viper because of her seven frame uppercut. Sure. Uh, Adon have a very, has a very, very amazing offensive game in the middle game, but wow, Marn, Marn just using up his meter. Yeah, Marn using up his meter to keep. And you'll uh, notice this with a lot of Viper players. They never seem to have any, any meter, uh, especially when it counts the most. I mean, Really, he just wanted to end the round right there because he knew that LPN's comeback potential was a dash up mix up right there in his face. So he just wanted to shut that down early. And Martin just choosing to stay oh, back, do yeah. Thunder Knuckles. And, uh, really L effective. LPN deciding to stay with Adon, which is really surprising me right now. Because maybe it, he likes this matchup better. I, I, I would imagine because. Very decisive you round know, one. It did not look like his Adon was doing all of that much against Marn's Viper in the earlier game, but let's see if there's some big adjustment that LPN thinks that he is able to make. And Marn just going in, using yeah, Thunder Knuckles going, as per usual. Going in, high risk, high reward all day, and it's been paying off for a while now. LPN and, used up his meter though, and, and he, he managed to get sort of a little edge there. He's got a life lead, not for long. Oh, and that's a punish right there. We, and Marn's been able to land so many EX Seismos. Yeah, he's been he's been really pressing those buttons after the Thunder Knuckles. It's really been hurting him. 
And it's hard to get away from away from it sometimes if you jump late. If it's naked, you can't get away from it. Oh my god, these, these throw mix-ups. The throws are coming out so late and the techs are coming out so late. There's so much baiting going on right now and it and Adon's in a terrible position right now. What is he gonna do? He's, He's got, got no meter! Oh. And there he is, just the low fierce and Marn takes down LPN. That's a uh, strong. Who really in the bracket, you know, out of the whole bracket was just kind of the favorite to take him out. And uh, I have to play my match. All right.